Hey students, it's me, Mr. Fitz. So let's take a look at number eight. Um, graph and label triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, the image of triangle ABC after a reflection over the line X equals negative one, followed by a reflection over the line Y equals zero. Okay, so we're gonna reflect this image. This is our pre-image, if we will. All right, I'm gonna reflect it over this line X equals negative one. That's the vertical line x equals negative one, not to be confused by the x-axis. Um, so this is where all of the x-coordinates happen to equal negative one. So like negative one, negative one, uh, negative one, zero, negative one, one, negative one, two, and so forth. So I'm gonna, this point, one, two, three, four, five, is five away from the line of reflection. So it's gonna go five over or through it, however you wanna like interpret it. This one would be two, and then this one would also be five. So what's that gonna look like? There you go. So this is where the next triangle is gonna be. This would be A prime, B prime, C prime. Check the order of the points. Notice that this is going A, B, C in this sort of counterclockwise fashion. And this one, A, A prime, B prime, C prime is going clockwise. So that means I did my reflection well. At least I got that part right. Let's take a look at the next one. So I wanna follow it by a reflection over the line y equals zero. That's this blue line here or the line y equals zero. Not to be confused by the y-axis, which I always confused in geometry. By the way, my geometry teacher would be very upset with me because I didn't label my axes here. Uh, they used to always get mad at me for that. So this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. This is the line y equals zero. This is the line x equals zero. Um, so Again, I used to get it wrong all the time, so I just remembered it was the opposite. So we're gonna reflect this. So A prime is gonna go down here, B prime over here, and C prime is one, two, three, four, five away from the line of reflection. So it's gonna go five over. So there's our next triangle. A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. Notice that the order of the points is going back to counterclockwise again. It's the same orientation as this one. So that's what we learned in class. A double reflection has to be a direct isometry, right? We flip it once, it's backwards. Flip it back again, it's back to a direct. So um, yeah, this either has to be a translation or a rotation. Which is it? It definitely doesn't look like a translation to me because for translation, the C would have to be up top and it's not. So it must be some sort of rotation. And in fact, if you flip your paper or your computer upside down, um, it would be a, so that's the next question, by the way, what single transformation maps triangle ABC onto A double prime, B double prime, C double prime? That was the second part of this problem. Well, it's going to be a rotation of 180 degrees about negative one, zero, which is this point right here. And what I wanted to show you is, so if I move this thing back, let's see if I can do this, hold on. Doo -doo. So if I twist this back and put it back here. Yeah, so this maps, so I can do that again. Yeah, that maps there. So you can see that how that mapping works. Yep, just flips right over. Okay, um, hope this helps. Please let me know if you have any questions and thank you, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, there might be some uh, bloopers after this. Let's see, um, graph and label, that's not what I wanna do. Hey students, as promised, uh, here is number eight. Uh, so let's take a look at this. So let's go ahead and here we go. Nope. Take seven, take one million. I'm not sure what happened with that. Um, anyway, it's usually better than that.